in public life you're dealing with serious issues and mm -hmm. You want to be taken seriously on, on matters. With more than 40 years experience under his political belt, Councillor Norm Kelly is giving the Twitterverse a snapshot of his personality outside City Hall. I started to consider uh, ways of communicating my position on certain issues and increasingly it became more personal, less political and uh, more enjoyable. Kelly's eye-catching tweets are also grabbing the attention of homegrown superstar Drake. Even TMZ, a popular American entertainment website, picked this one up, which was retweeted more than 3,000 times. Where do you come up with concepts or, let's say, inspiration for some of the quirky lines you come up with? Don't ask me why. It just went boom. He's using um, very compelling and interesting type of content, which resonates well, potentially, across his target audience. Reaching the millennials, which are a very hard target market to reach. Kelly has nearly 9,000 followers, and you can credit his very creative tweets for that. Take this, for example, a simple green bin. Instead of just tweeting about this, he had raccoon heads superimposed on city officials' bodies, and he was poking fun at the city's brand new so-called raccoon-proof green bins. I don't Photoshop. There's someone that I can go to and say, uh, this, is what I, this is what I want to capture. You know, I want to be sitting at a table with a bunch of raccoons <laughs> you know, negotiating the uh, the terms of some sort of peace treaty. Councillor Kelly has a great sense of humor. He must have blisters on his thumbs from uh, all of his activities. One of Kelly's more popular raccoon tweets gave us inspiration for this. Outside the Twitterverse, the seasoned politician has served as both deputy mayor and stepped in to lead the city during Rob Ford's 2014 stint in rehab. But when he's not wearing his political hat, the Scarborough Agent Corps councillor says he doesn't take himself too seriously. I appreciate wit. And I also have a penchant for silliness. That's just part of my uh, approach to life, I guess. Kelly admits sometimes he does over-tweet. In a single day, he says he has tweeted more than 30 times. Andrea Puno, City News.